After the E3 presentation, people were wondering what that blurred out mode was on the menu that uh, they showed in the Smash Ultimate trailer. It's a little green blurred out thing, uh, and there was a few hints leading towards it, and I kind of want to talk about what I think about it. So, first off, people realized in the Japanese version of the trailer that the text in it was, you know, they figured out the symbols in it, and it turned out to be a word that means spirit. That was pretty interesting, because we're like, what? what is spirit? Like, what? I don't understand. Is it going to be story mode? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? Obviously, I still think it is going to be generally a story mode, but I do think with a little bit of a twist on it. Think about all the reveal trailers for the characters so far. Ridley, Mario and Mega Man died. Simon, Luigi got his soul ripped out of him and is a spirit now. Wink, wink. Also, King Danide definitely got, like, destroyed by King Cave Rule. And I think in every single other character reveal trailer, you are going to have more characters get ripped out and die. So I think Spirits is either going to be one of two things. It is either going to be a mode where all of the characters that have died have to come back and fight all these different bosses and, like, spirit type of things and all these different areas in the game where all of, like, the characters and the bosses and everything like that similar to subspace so they can reclaim their life or it is going to be like people in their game like their counterparts uh, coming for them and trying to save them from all the things that have killed them such as like the Grim Reaper or Dracula you know would be in the Dracula stage you would have you know you could kill Ridley or like a, a boss Ridley version instead of like the normal Ridley uh, you can have to fight King K. Rule as like DK or something like that so that they, they can come back I don't know I feel like there are so many possibilities for spirits obviously if it's just a basic story mode that has nothing to do with these trailers, that is 100% fine by me, but I do think that the Spirits mode is based off of the trailers. Uh, I just, I don't know, I don't I don't see it be any other way. If it's text really is Spirits, and in the trailers, everyone is literally keep dying. Like, Mega Man got stabbed in the heart, Mario got crushed, uh, Day to Day got, like, swiped really, really hard and, like, thrown off the island pretty much, uh, and then Luigi got his soul ripped out of him. I feel like that is too coincidental with that and the word Spirit, so I think that is going to be the version of the story mode in Smash Bros Ultimate, but now let's talk about the second thing. The second thing I wanted to talk about in terms of the menuing is when people saw the like custom balance thing with like the dude that was like on the floor, some like kneeling or something on something. People were talking about that. Oh my god, it's a rage toggle. You can turn rage on and off. That is going to be fantastic. Of course, we're gonna have rage off type of thing, blah 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 blah. That whole argument. So, first off, I want to talk about if it is a rage toggle and then what I think it actually actually is. So, if it's a rage toggle, first off, I feel like we do have to test rage in Ultimate, because honestly, I like rage as a general mechanic. I feel like it is a little too strong in Smash 4, and then has the problems of moves not working correctly. So, again, to break it down, you know, DK, when he has a lot of rage, he can kill with Ding Dong at like 45 or 50. I think that is slightly ridiculous. I think rage's overall power, or like the scaling of the base knockback, should be lower, instead of like, I don't know what it is at max, but let's say it's like 1.3 times when you're at 150. I really do think it should be like the maximum rage should be more like 1.2, 1.15. So like half of how good rage is. So kind of like what rage is in Smash 4 at like 90 to 100 percent. I think that would be much much better because I do feel like as a balancing mechanic that is fair because heavy characters are always universally bad in Smash. You know there is not a single good heavy character in uh, 64. Although like no one's heavy because everyone dies from hits. So like Falcon being heavy or DK being heavy doesn't really matter because you're still gonna die and get edge guarded in one hit regardless. But in Melee, the best heavy character is what? Ganon, who's not viable because neither Fox, nor Falco, nor Puff, nor, nor Sheik, nor Peach, nor Ice Climbers, nor Pikachu. Like, Samus and Ganon are the two best heavies, and they're not really competitively viable, or they're at the very cusp of, like, we can maybe do something. Like, that's as good as they are. But in Brawl, same thing. Although, you do, you did have Snake, who was good, but that wasn't because he was heavy. That was because his damage output and his kill potential was ridiculous, and that doesn't necessarily have to be on a heavy character, and then the next best heavy character was uh, Day to Day, but again, neither Snake or Day to Day were top five. Like, Snake was, you know, seventh or eighth, in my opinion. You know, some people did argue top five, but, you know, I'm firmly in the camp that he didn't because he lost about five or six matchups in top tier. Uh, and then Day to Day was good, but that was, again, not really because he was heavy, but that was because his chain grab on 80% of the cast because he just did that and then down tilt and then edge guard you with back air. So it wasn't really the fact that he was big and heavy that was really making him good. It was the fact that he had a really oppressive uh, neutral tool that that then led to a lot of damage, and same with Snake. He had camping, he had projectiles,
projectiles, he had really good forward tilt and up tilt, and he had C4 and he had a bunch of different traps. And yeah, it was hard to kill him, which made it extra annoying because then he could just trade with you and then, you know, be winning because, like, proportionally, he's probably going to live longer. But at the same time, it wasn't what made him good. It was just kind of an addition. Whereas Rage specifically makes heavy characters better because, oh, we couldn't kill you because you're not supposed to be able to kill a heavy character for long. Now I'm stronger. Now my hits will mean more, which they kind of already did because they make the big characters, you know, stronger and, you know, they deal more damage. But now they're going to be killing people a lot more because they have the rage, which I honestly find is a perfect mechanic if they do it correctly. So again, I do think it is a little bit too strong. And then the biggest problem with rage, like bar none, in my opinion, is the fact that a lot of moves don't work correctly because of it. You have Zero Suit's up B pushing you off the top at 10. You have a Samus's Shine Spark where she goes dash attack up B and it kills you at 10. You have the Me Brawler down throw uh, up B which you know hits people like a diagonally and kills them. You have the Mario coin. You have all those type of things where your move doesn't connect correctly because of the rage. You have the, you know the Peach down tilt, you know Parasol is another example. You have your moves that don't actually work correctly because of rage because they have high base knockback because they're trying to keep you in the move which is I guess the way they programmed that and then it just kills people at ridiculously early percents, so the risk reward for those moves is heavily, heavily, heavily now skewed in their favor. And honestly, that is, in my opinion, the worst part of Rage by a significant amount. And if they fix that, honestly, I think Rage would be fine. So anyway, let's get off of the Rage topic because I honestly don't even think that is what the toggle is talking about. And if it is, less and we can talk about that and we can discuss that when the game comes out but honestly I feel like that toggle that custom balance toggle is specifically talking about the damage multipliers from singles and doubles because in singles you will do way more damage than you do in doubles I think it's 1.2 times that amount of damage uh, in 1v1s versus like anything else I think it's even like if you're playing a three-man free-for-all it will be more damage I do not remember that 100% but I feel like that is what the toggle is talking about so you can play max damage doubles because I don't remember Remember which one's the base and which one's more. I don't remember if like doubles is the 1.0 and then a singles is the 1.2 or if like singles is the, the 1.0 and then doubles is like the 0.8. I don't remember exactly how that works. So you would either be able to do max damage doubles or less damage singles, which I feel like is honestly going to be like what the toggle actually is. But again, I do think that must be, you know, worked with as well. We really do have to wait and see if that would be good because if that is what it is, do we favor, you know, doing less damage and having slightly less ridiculous damage outboard or do we value oh they're doing more damage which means their combos will do more damage which will mean they kill early because damage and knockback are always correlated uh, in Smash as far as I'm aware and so the matches will last shorter so you'll have a more entertaining match you will have a more uh, you know fast pace and you'll be able to play three stocks or maybe even four stocks as the game progresses but probably not we're probably just going to be three stock Smash Ultimate so honestly that is what I think that toggle is going to be if it is rage that is perfectly fine but I honestly think it is changing the damage ratios of uh, the, the game because that, like that makes more sense because I feel like rage isn't like a custom balance it's like a mechanic as opposed to yeah we like literally just made doubles harder we made doubles uh, everyone did less damage like specifically like it's literally a multiplier added to it it's not like that's a different formula it's just like oh when there's more people like parentheses times 0.8 or whatever it is so that is honestly what I think that is going to be but again I am always up for a discussion let me know down in the comments down below I have been trying to comment more and like reply to people in the comments more so you know I do want to have that discussion so let me know what you think and yeah as always social media panda and partner stuff is down below and I will see you all next time Ooh, bye, -bye.